Yeah, welcome to my video on randomized complete block design analysis of a worked example. In our last video, we started we, we worked on the computations, we computed the correction factor, the sum of squares total, the SS treatments, SS blocks, and SS error. So in this video, we'll be focusing on the ANOVA table, which is the last stage of computations before we take decisions on our hypothesis. And so let's get going right away. Now, this in this ANOVA table, ANOVA table, okay, our degrees of freedom, if you recall from what we did under completely randomized design, is usually the number of the objects minus one. So for blocks, it will be number of blocks, which is B minus one. How many blocks do we have? If you go back to the layout, one, two, three, four, five, five blocks. So this will be equal to five minus one, which is four. For treatments, it's T minus one. How many treatments do we have? One, two, three. So we say three minus one, which is equal to two. For we leave that of error, then we'll do that of total first. Total, it is either N minus 1 or you say BT minus 1. What is B? What is T? B is number of blocks. T is number of treatments. And that's 5 times 3. That's 15. So 15 is the total number of observations. If you count the individual observations, they all add up to 15. So subtract one from there, it will give you 14. So once you have this now, you can easily estimate this. How? By subtracting these other degrees of freedom, that's for blocks and totals, from your total DF. So if you subtract that, it will be 14 minus 4 minus 2. So I will just say, uh, 14 minus 4 minus 2 and that will give you 8 so at least putting it here helps you to remember how this 8 came about it's not just from from the blues so for our SS what happens you recall we have computed all the SS before so what we need to do is to just place them exactly where they should be so this is 460.79 if you recall from the last video you can see how that is computed we have 15.96 and our ss uh our ss total was five twenty eight point four zero. We then subtracted this and this from that total, and that gave us 51.65. Yes, 51.65. That was what we obtained. So here now we move to the mean squares. Just as we did under completely randomized design, for mean squares, you obtain mean squares by dividing the sum of squares by the corresponding degrees of freedom. So 460.79 divided by 4. That's what you will put here. 15.96 divided by 2. You will put that here. Then 51.65 divided by 8 will be here. For total, remember in the video on CRD, we said we don't compute MS for total. Why? Because we said mean squares are not additive. That's the reason. So we don't compute anything here. So in any ANOVA table, this column, this space, this cell will be left blank. So we have 115.20, which is obtained as 460.79 divided by 4. That's what gives you that. So you have that equal to that. Similarly, you have that 
that gives you 7.98 and the final one so you divide 61 51 sorry 51.65 by 8 and that gives you 6.46 so that's the mean squares for error now we come to F car. Now, for F calculated, your main concern was treatment. You wanted to find out whether there's significant difference in this treatment. But we said we know that the land, the experimental units are not homogeneous, and that was why we introduced blocking. So we had different fertility compartments. We know those compartments differ. So that wasn't what we are actually interested in testing. We just wanted to test whether there are differences in the varieties. That's what we are interested in. But it doesn't do any harm if you also test whether there is actually a significant difference between the blocks, just as we have in the hypothesis. So to do that, here I will divide MS for, to, for blocks by MS for error. And I will also divide MS for treatments by MS for error to get the value that will be in this set. So let's let, let's go now. So what I mean is this one will be 115.20 divided by 6.46. That's the error MS. Similarly, here you will say 7.98 divided by 6.46. So that's the way you will evaluate those. And you will get 1.24 for this first one here. 1.24 and here 17.83. That's what you will get here. 17.83. So that's it. So that's our F calculated. So as we explained under the CRD, you will now take your statistical table and go to the statistical table to look at the degrees of freedom you will use now sorry to look at the f tabulated and i have said usually we use 0.05 level of uh, significance now for blocks if you want to get the f tabulated for blocks because in doing the f calculated you used the mean squares for blocks and for error in the same way when you want to get this you will need a Degrees of freedom for blocks and for error. Because those are the two things you evaluated to get your F cal. So looking at four, I mean sorry, looking at so it is four and eight you will need. So you will look for eight under four. So column is four, row will be eight. That is what so you have one, two, three, four, five. That, that's the columns on that table. And then you have all your two, three, four, five, up to eight. So you look at eight. So four, I mean, eight under four. So the intersection, whatever value is there, that's the value you need for this. And for the second one, it will be 2 and 8 for treatments. So it will be 2, sorry, 8 under 2. So whatever value is here, that's what you will use. And when you go to the table to look at that, what you will get is 3.84 for blocks. And for treatments, you will get 4. Point four six. Sorry, I 
I switch them. 4.46 is what you will get. And here, 3.84. Okay, for treatment, yes. So that is what you get from the F tabulated. So with this now, you can make decision regarding your null hypothesis in each case. Don't forget, when F car is greater than F tab, what do you do? You reject HO. So don't forget that. that. That's the rule. And if it's the opposite, then you accept HO. So we'll, let's now look at that. For here, for our blocks, our F cal is greater than this, than the F tab. So we reject null hypothesis. And what does the null hypothesis for blocks say? You come back to your hypothesis. For blocks, null says block effect is not significant. So we are saying we reject that hypothesis. So we, will not, we accept the alternative, which says block effect is significant. So this value here is significant. I can put an asterisk there. It's significant. Let's check the second one for treatments. 1.24 versus 3.84. So we say this is not significant. Why? Because the calculated value is less than the tabulated value. So we say, and that means we accept null hypothesis in that case. And what does our null hypothesis say for treatment? It says no significant difference between the treatments. So this value here is not significant. So we can put NS there. So that is how we complete our computation and take decisions regarding our hypothesis. And of course, we will now state, state it out clearly in words to say that, okay, here, there are significant differences in the fertility compartment between the, there are significant differences there in the yield of uh, soy bean, I mean, sorry, sweet potato, the yield of sweet potato from the various fertility compartments. There are significant difference in their yield. Whereas for the treatments, that's the three varieties of soybean you, I mean of sweet potato used. Sweet potato, not soybean, sorry. Now for the three varieties of sweet potatoes used, we say there is no significant differences in their yield. No significant difference at all in their yield. And that is the conclusion of that example. In the next video, we'll be looking at a situation where Instead of uh, differences in experimental units in one direction, how about if we have it in multiple directions? That is in two directions, two perpendicular directions. We'll look at that when we discuss Latin square design. How about situations where when we have a table like this, if some of the values here are missing, how do we resolve the situation and still solve the problem? That will be treated under the video on missing values. Thank you for dropping by. See you in the next video. Bye.